Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and today it is time for the June edition of the Paper Crafting YouTubers Hop, where once a month a bunch of creatives get together and we each do a project based on some type of theme. So this month, we are all creating around the saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So you can take this literally, you can just really stretch it far out and see what you can come up with. I am going to take it um, pretty literally. I'm not gonna actually talk about making real lemonade, but I think I'm going to use part of that saying as my title. So last year I had a pretty rough year. Uh, well, pr a pretty rough few months of the year where my depression and anxiety really just got the best of me and I considered ending my life at one point and I had to get some uh, mental health assistance and um, really get back on track. So, when the one year anniversary of my darkest day ever um, came around this year, uh, I decided that I would, instead of spending time being even more down and depressed remembering that day, I would kind of build it up and, and make a day to celebrate out of it. So I started calling it my live day and it became a pretty um, big special day for me. My husband took off work. We spent the day doing things that I wanted to do and just had a really good time. And one of the things I wanted to do was get a tattoo and I wanted it to say live with the I being a semicolon. So there it is there. So on March the 10th of this year, that was my live day. So this is a photo my husband took while I was getting the tattoo. And sometimes I love to use large photos. I love to use small photos in between sizes. Sometimes I just really like a large photo and I really like black and white photos as well. So I decided to edit this one in Photoshop to be black and white and to just go big and let the photo do a lot of the speaking and a lot of the work for the layout. So what I have pulled is a pink piece of basil cardstock and it is called uh, Fussy is what it's called. And so I am going to use that as a mat to my photo. I originally had a white border like I typically do, but um, it did not really show up that well against this uh, white paper. And it wasn't the exact same shade of white and with the photo being so big, it really stood out. So I decided to, to mat it in pink and then I have two papers from the Some Days collection um, from Pink Fresh Studio called Make Lemonade. And it's the same paper, just two of them. And I'm gonna use the A side and the B side. So I'm gonna have a, a border of sorts out of the lemon paper, and then I'll have a band of paper um, from this one that has a lot of sayings and it says things like doing it anyway, shooting my shot, hustle hard, getting it done, um, giving it my all, A plus attempt, trying my best, just a lot of um, things that you might think or say to yourself if you're having a tough go but you're still plugging away and trying your best to, to do things. So that is what I have pulled so far. I, I did pull out a few lemon embellishments from the embellishment pack or the ephemera pack. I also have, real quickly, I'll just show you what else I have. I have, I think, most of this collection. So there were two alphas uh, in the same font and size, just different colors, so a blue and a green. There is a smaller alpha, a multicolor alpha. There are some puffy stickers. There are some cardstock stickers 
front and back. Then there are these uh, journaling uh, bits that I might use one of, and then enamel dots. So I've got those things at the ready to see what else I need. So I'm gonna stop talking and put you on fast forward and we will get this one put together. So let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the branding strips on both of those background papers to get them to 12 inches. And then I'm going to lay my photo down onto the pink piece of cardstock because I'm not necessarily going for a certain measurement. I just want it to have an even border and then fall between the upper and the lower row of sayings on that word paper, if that makes sense. So I think you'll see here in a minute what I'm talking about if that was not clear. So I want it to, I want to be able to see the full strip of words at the top and the bottom. Um, and, and so that's what I did there with the pink cardstock. And then I'm adhering my photo down to that. Now, I, at first I cut off an inch and a half and I decided that that was not quite enough. So I go back and cut off another half inch. So that way I cut off two full inches and I'll have a one inch border of the lemon paper showing as well. And I just thought that looked pretty pleasing and got the point across, but still showed enough of the white paper so that you could see the words um, on either side of the photo mat. So now I'm distressing just the two sides, not the top and the bottom. Um, sometimes I do the top and the bottom, even if they're going to be touching, you know, if they're the full 12 inches, sometimes I distress them and sometimes I don't. But in this case, I didn't. I just um, used the, the tool on either side. And then I went to my sewing machine and stitched down both sides and I want to kind of rumple it up a little bit more and I used brown thread because even though my photo is technically in black and white I did some sepia editing with it and so it's really got some like warmer those sepia brown tones in it as well and I just felt like the black was going to be a little bit overpowering so I just decided to use brown thread today which is something I don't do very often and then I picked out that little envelope it says enter department delivery and um, I'm not going to put anything on it it's just you know there for looks on the front I'm not going to stamp a date or write anything or whatever. Um, but I thought that that would work well to tie in some of that green from the leaves. And I love pink and green together. That's one of my favorite color combinations ever. Um, and so I thought if I pulled in that um, little envelope for my journaling, that that would also make more sense if I use those green alphas. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. And you saw me kind of just laying them out and making sure I'd had enough room to spell lemonade there on my paper or on my photo. So I use some one inch foam adhesive and um, I'm popping this up. And I, I always typically use um, adhesive, I mean, um, I'm sorry, liquid adhesive as well, just to give me a little wiggle room in case I need it. And my favorite adhesive right now, liquid adhesive, is Barely Arts Precision Glue. So um, now I'm going to get everything kind of laid out like I want it to be and adhere down. And so I'm going to put that in place. I do come back. I can't remember if I do it on camera or off camera, but that string is awfully long on that um, little envelope. So I do cut some of that off. I leave enough to wrap around a few times and then I, I trim the rest of it off. And I, I don't remember if it's on camera or not. So now I'm going to take my favorite little foam squares. They are scrapbook adhesives by 3L. And I'm going to pop up all of my little lemon pieces. And so I just clustered three of them down there around the envelope and just put one at the top to give it just a, a little something else going on up there. So I cut out a lot of me putting down the foam squares because that takes a while. I use way too many of them. Um, 
<laughs> and so I cut out a lot of that and I'm going to cut out a lot of me pulling the back and paper off as well. Um, I will say that I have put sometimes two or three layers of these little foam squares because I wanted the lemons to stick up above the envelope a little bit and then I'm layering another lemon on top of the two on the bottom there so I wanted it to stick up. So there's some places on there on the ephemera pieces where I have doubled or triple layered the um, the little squares to get the amount of dimension that I wanted and I do love a lot of dimension and depth on my layouts and um, so I have quite a bit going on here with this one so then I'm going to put down my title and it's going to say make lemonade at the bottom and then I decided to go ahead up at the top to put lemons with a question mark. Um, I did not want to put the whole quote and I wasn't even thinking I was going to put lemons up there until I, I got done and I thought well you know maybe I just need to put a little something else. It doesn't end up showing up that well here on camera and it definitely doesn't show up as well as the bottom part of the title because it's just there on the black space of the photo. Um, the top where I'm putting lemons had a little bit of uh, a lighter background up there, but it does show up better in person than it does there on the camera. So you can see it a little better. And then I'm gonna put a question mark there. So it's gonna be lemons make lemonade. Um, and yeah, so there's my question mark. And that is basically what most of my layout's gonna be like. I do pull over this little puffy sticker sheet and put down that little lemon there just to fill in that space in the title. And then that gives me a visual triangle of lemons as well as that color green there, having it in three corners. So I thought that looked good. Those lemons would have been cute there, but it was just too much. It, 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 was, it took away the visual triangle and I just felt like it was too many lemons on the layout. I did try some florals and while they would have been pretty, I just decided they really weren't necessary and it, I felt like it didn't do anything to add to the layout, so I didn't include them. I also did not use any enamel dots. Um, I just felt like I had enough there. So now I'm going through the little six by six paper pad and I'm gonna choose this smaller lemon scaled um, paper. And I measured out what size the, um, the little envelope was. I'm just gonna trim down the, um, the lemon paper, make sure it fits in there. And then I'm going to do my journaling on the back. And I left this part in. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, the pen that I'm using is called a Rytec Fine Liner Waterproof Pigment Ink. And I love it. They come in a set from Amazon. And the one that I'm writing with right now is an 04. It starts at like a 001 and goes up to a 20 and then there's a brush one. So there's a, a huge variety in the set and I just really like how they write. So once I finish up this journaling, I do date stamp the journaling part and the layout. I, I put the date on both, um, both places and I just dated it for today, the day that I did the layout. And then once I do that, that finishes me up and I'll be back to talk to you here in just a second. Thanks guys. Okay, I'm gonna call this one good right here and I love how it turned out. Um, very simple, minimal embellishments, but when you have a large photo, it really does a lot of the work and you don't have to add a whole lot unless you just want to, but I feel like this was enough to, um, you know, finish out my layout and get my point across. So when I put this in a page protector, I will cut out enough of a little rectangle right here so that you can un wrap the twine and get the journaling out of this little envelope. And I will read it to you. I know you uh, 
probably saw me write it on camera, but I'll read it to you. It says, on March 10th, 2021, life handed me a big bag of really sour lemons and I thought about ending my life. But thanks to my loving husband, I got the help I needed. This year on March 10th, I celebrated the one year anniversary of what I'm now calling my live day. And again, I wrote the, the I as a semicolon, which is kind of a, um, a universal symbol for those who struggle with mental health, who have contemplated um, ending their life, um, and that, but that they kept going, or that they had something that could have really just, you know, put them down and out, but they chose to keep going. So it was that pause and then they kept going, which is what a semicolon makes you do in a sentence. So that is what that little symbol means in case you have not ever heard that before. So um, I think that's where I will end the video today. And I certainly appreciate you stopping by and spending time with me so very much. It means more to me than you will ever know. Make sure you check out everyone else who is playing along in the hop this month. They will be listed in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. And if you've not already uh, hit that subscribe button, I would certainly appreciate you doing that as well and becoming a part of my little YouTube family that is just steadily growing and that makes me so very happy. Um, there are links in the description box to a lot of the products that I commonly use, and I will also see if I can link this Someday's collection from Pink Fresh Studio. It is gorgeous. And um, let's see, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave them down below as well. I would love to chat back and forth with you. And until I see you in the next video, take care of yourself, do something good for yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.